Hey there everybody, thanks for stopping by. In this video, I would like to discuss with you nature spirits. And today is Friday the 13th, so I wanted to just wish everyone a happy Friday the 13th. I know I'm super excited, I love Friday the 13th. So basically, what a nature spirit is, is a spirit that resides in each and every plant, tree, uh, any living thing that you see that's outside. So as you may know, the elementals are beings of earth, air, fire, and water and they bring great assistance to mankind by tending to these forces of nature. So have you ever just looked at a tree and just marveled over its beauty and its strength and its power and just looked up at it and noticed how it just grows into the sky and touches the sky almost? Or have you ever gone outside um, when the sun is going down and you just sit there and watch the sun set and see the beauty? As you're out there and you're looking at these trees and you're looking up at the sky or seeing the sun set, um, as you witness this and you feel these emotions, a lot of times when you're out there, you will may sometimes get the feeling that nature is speaking to you. So belief in nature spirits is pretty common throughout most cultures and societies and throughout history. Nature beings are said to have been here since the beginning of time and they created the landscape of reality. Nature spirits are usually attached to one specific place or thing. Usually nature spirits are in trees, plants, um, a river or um, mountains. So nature spirits do come in a variety of different shapes and temperaments. Some are described as being kind of human in form. Others are like animal or even a half animal, half human. Some can be very helpful and then there's others that can be kind of on the negative side. They could be even deceitful. They can lie to you, be like tricksterish. So you have to be careful with some of those. Now nature spirits are usually invisible to most humans. It is known that people that have the ability of clairvoyants are able to see these beings at times and uh, people that have clairvoyance and work on their clairvoyant skills and um, abilities they can develop um, to where they can see these nature beings so as you know Pan is considered the god of all nature spirits and he is pretty much a half man half goat creature so one of the main jobs for nature spirits is to tend to all the plants and trees and for the most part Nature spirits are composed of etheric matter. So nature spirits are like physical workers and they carry the architectural blueprints. They do express great joy and delight in their work that they do. And nature spirits do vary in size. Some can be just tiny little bitty like a pin dot. And like el with elves and stuff like that, they can be up to about, you know, three, four feet tall. So now I'm gonna share with you a few elemental spirits. But for the earth element, you've got gnomes, giants, and mountain devas. For the element of water, you've got nymphs. For air, you have fairies, elves, and storm devas. For the element of fire, you have salamanders and fire spirits. A few other nature beings would be Pan, the um, Jinn, house spirits, and even UFOs. The higher developed beings are where you're gonna find the angels, guardians, your spirit guides, um, guardian angels, things like that. So now it's time for a quick little exercise and for this exercise all you need to do is find a quiet spot outside and just meditate and converse with these beings. This will help you reestablish your ancient connection with these beings. Some people really believe that there are elves that live at the bottom of your garden but you will just have to find that out for yourself. Now I'm going to share with you a way that you can call these nature spirits to you. So the first thing you want to do is find a power spot that you know that these beings come in and out. Of. And you always want to approach these spirits with respect and, um, you know, kindness. And, you know, look at them as an equal. From what I've heard, the most effective and most um, highly chance you will see a nature being will be if you're out in rural area and maybe like some wild areas where like in the woods or um, maybe in a park or somewhere where you're not in direct, um, you know, urban areas, you know, because that might be a little hard getting in touch with them because, um, you know, they're real private and very quiet and like to keep to themselves. So it's going to be important to, you know, spend some time outside and try to figure out where they're at in your yard or, um, you know, wherever you want to go so that you can try to experiment and see, um, you know, what's the best way for you to connect with them. But like I said, one of the best ways to connect with them is to go out into the woods or into the forest or into some type of a rural area. So when you go out to the woods and you say you wanna you know, get started and you're gonna look for your spot, you wanna find a spot that 
there's a calling to you, a place that is, you know, you feel connected to. You know, you'll know it's an intuition type thing. You won't even know it when you go there probably. It'll be something that'll happen when you get there. You'll get this intuitive calling on what location to go to and that's where you want to go. You know, you don't want to think twice. It's kind of like when you um, get the feeling that um, you need to go a certain way home from work, which you never do, and you do it, and then you realize, oh wow, there was a wreck that day on that road. So, you know, it was your intuition telling you ahead of time, you know, to look out. So that's what I'm saying. You're going to get an intuition on which place to choose. And when you get that, that's going to be the place you want to go and sit. Now, you can do the following that I'm going to mention, either in group or you can do it by yourself in meditation uh, with a couple of people. It's really up to you and how you want to do this. So you want to relax and stand upwards and just start breathing in a few times until you feel pretty relaxed. And so while you're doing this, also just kind of have your eyes closed and feel the wind blow against you. Okay, and when you're doing this, you're going to be, it's going to be opening up your inner self. Your spirit self is going to start kind of awakening. And this deep breathing is going to help you get connected with this other reality. So picture in your mind's eye a light inside you. And so as you breathe, you want to feel this light expanding out inside you. What it's doing is it's purifying and energizing your inner self and your aura. So feel yourself glowing, balanced, purified, and full of power. Connect with your inner self, also called the higher self, and feel your intuitive self operating and opening up to everything around you. And once you do that, just meditate and call on any of the nature spirits you would like. So if you're near water, you may want to call on a nymph. If you are near, um, if it's a real breezy day and you're under a tree, you might want to call on a fairy or an elf. Okay, so uh, I guess that's really about it on nature spirits and elemental beings. Uh, I just kind of wanted to touch briefly on the subject. Um, if you guys are interested, I can go into more detail with um, Pacific beings and things like that. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see y'all soon. Blessed be.